we have i nominate mcb as my honorary ben replacement but i don't know if that'd go down too well <laughs> i think i think uh highwayman would have something to say about that <laughs> we have uh who oh you're right oh, uh, yeah we have cheeks and capis versus doorman and Nick B. yeah i was i was confused for a minute i always forget that uh cheeks plays palu some now and he is just nearing bowser so we actually had a funny a funny couple of exchanges in uh mine and praises set versus uh versus cheeks and capis we oh, were yeah. Oh, stuff's happening at the top of the screen. I don't know what's going on, but uh, Sheiks was just up there. <laughs> we were all playing uh, black skins, so we all looked like each other. And I would see Palutena do things, and because Praise normally plays Palutena, I would instantly combo Praise whenever Cheeks threw Whoa, him. Oh, that stinks! <laughs> I would just hear the sound effects. I think I caught one of those. Capus and Snake were dead while I was telling my own story. It feels like. Capus and Cheeks kind of know what they're doing with each character. Yeah, Capus and Cheeks both both known for being very good doubles character or very good doubles players. Uh, Doorman usually teams with Highwayman, not tonight, but him and McBee have been making a little run. Yeah, they've got a very good team. I feel like they might be a little rough around the edges considering how infrequently they team, but Bowser and Snake seems like a really good duo. They got plenty of kill power, plenty yeah, of stage damage control. output, huge hitboxes for the most part. Only downside is that they're also kind of huge themselves in certain ways. Yeah, no, that's definitely true. They they both have kind of weak disadvantage dates, especially against Palutena. Oh, no kidding. Like, just Cheeks opening up with four nares on Doorman. It just, oh, yeah. you gotta kind of accept it. Well, Palutena is almost the perfect character to fight this team, because not only does Palutena destroy grapplers, I've heard it's one of Snake or Bowser's maybe two unwinnable matchups but hmm. or unwinnable but that get up read from McB with the stall on the up tilt was beautiful all right and Capus and cheeks have a little bit of a lead here just yeah. one stock cheeks has kind of been tanking so far he did lose a stock earlier but he's been doing a good job of keeping the damage down and getting those heavy conversions i've seen multiple up smashes multiple forward smashes his awareness is perfect so far all right here comes the pain from palutena nair <laughs> Oh geez, yeah, is Doorman just, dead? He sees a low percent and he's just like, it's time to press this A button. Doorman just took 87% <laughs> from losing neutral once. Wow. 96%, yeah, 96%. 100%. Well, he kind of chose to lose the second time with down B, but yeah, he's struggling. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Cheeks going way up there. Doorman just was not allowed to play the game. Yeah, it just... <laughs> Cheeks became Doorman's newest follower. Alright, grab here, up smash. Uh, oh, he, like he almost air dodged the right into it. Okay, yeah, they're gonna land it that time without a doubt. Three team combo. Active, what, almost 20 frames? Yeah, it's a ridiculously long time. Three team combo. I only say that team knowing I team with a Palu. <laughs> now, you do have to get that percentage right because the, the horizontal hitboxes are awfully narrow, as you saw there, but yeah, usually true, but... if you get a second opportunity, oh. you're gonna land it. Well, and it's so, it's so, like, it lingers for so long that as long as you have a good idea of your teammates' throws, you can be a little early and still hit them. True. Because the, the late hitbox is not very weak at all. But let's see where Dorman and McBee try to go back to. I don't know if McBee plays Ryu at all in doubles, but you never know if he can make a switch. I believe he has in the past. There was one week when I think he went Ryu in doubles, but I believe he's under the impression that Snake obviously is better in doubles than Ryu, and I think that's not just an impression, that is a fact. No, I completely agree. And Doorman is going Piranha Plant. McBee was being mad about this earlier, <laughs> but... Doorman's the kind of guy who, as long as you're not like quitting, in the middle of a match because he's doing it. He doesn't care. He's, he's going to go for what he wants to. I, I really think, not that Piranha Plant has a much better disadvantage, but I really think he's just trying to escape that Palutena. <laughs> yeah, I do agree that he's kind of done dealing with all those nares and up airs and just everything Palutena can get away with against oh, him. Starts off hitting me. Uh, and the two up airs against Storman yet again. Uh-oh, how does he land? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> That's about it. Tries to super armor through. McBee wow, Cheeks with a brave control. read. Dash grab. I'm impressed Jeez. by how quickly Cheeks can just pick up these characters and be tournament viable with them, at least in doubles. Oh yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, Whoa, the double kill. He's just... 
he is so aware in these kind of situations. Just see that, okay, my teammate's about to hit the enemy here, and he is just prepared to cover anywhere the teammates go flying. Cap is getting a nice juggle here, and let's certainly not forget the, the teamwork <laughs> Cap is doing to set this all up. I like how McBandic was trying to get out, then he saw the up smash, and he's just like, nope, I'm going back here. They're both, both their characters are just so good at applying pressure, and they're both, both players are so good at keeping people in the corner, in the air. Cap is the up kills B the kill, the parasol. Man, and Big B and Norman are just having no luck here. They're taking a total of one stock. Yeah, they just, they're struggling to land. It's just like one hit, and their stocks are gone. Oh, just barely into that team combo. And that's an issue for both of them because Snake and Piranha Plant kind of both take their setup. So not the strongest neutrals. They have specific tools for specific goals. And if they don't get an opportunity to use them, you see a situation <laughs> just like this. Well, McBee seeing an opportunity to use that tool. And we have uh, a much closer game. I think C4 killed Dorman. Uh, McBee needs to make it down to the ground. Dorman took his stock, so he's got to stay alive. And this is a best of three, so this could be game set. Ooh. Oh. Maybe trying to save a life, but not having the options to get out of that Doorman situation. Doorman trying to keep their tournament hopes alive, but it's not looking good. Oh, oh that combo. Goodness. That was beautiful. And that's it. Cheeks Cheeks and Kafis with a dominant Just, grand that final. Was, that was fast. That, that's how we won. Mm -hmm. Doubles Just, grand finals to go. Just, yep. Get, get it over with fast, get moving on to singles. I'm having flashbacks to that day with Murr and his teammate and Ace and Cheeks at the old Freaks menu. Were you around for that? I don't know if I was. They went to game five in winner's finals, then went to game five in oh, loser's no. finals, then went game five in grand finals and grand finals reset. Those guys... Oh yeah, they ended up playing having to play like 17 matches between the two teams. Jesus. Just throughout that those three that sets. That must have taken so long. Yes. Like, singles was in top eight, I'm pretty sure, at least by the time doubles ended. What was it? I felt bad the one day um, we did the random partners for, or we did the swapping partners one for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. And Darkness was my teammate for grand finals. And I think he got out pretty early, and he went one or two or something. So he's done with bracket at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We didn't do grand finals as side bracket till midnight. Really? So he's just sitting there for two and a half hours. Wow. <laughs> I've been a little better about that recently. We're done with doubles by 10 p.m. Yeah. Not, not bad at all. Freaks has been becoming quite efficient. <laughs> Ever since we had that pre-LTC local, we got we got on top of it. We figured oh, yeah. things out. Y'all had to figure things out after that one. We, we are down a couple TOs. Or down one TO this week because Blue and Crown and HMO in general and Denti all up at SmashCon this absent. week. Is there going to be um, a Smash Odyssey this week? I don't remember. This might be the week it's off. Okay. But if you're thinking of going, I can let you know. In the... I've been thinking of going. So I'll, yeah, I'll let you know in the Discord later. I don't. I honestly don't think it's happening, but we need to confirm that. Don't take my word on that. All right, looks like we're just waiting for things to get transferred over. King K. Doorman. I can't promise I'll be active, but if y'all want to stay updated on what I'm doing with my Smash hobby while I'm gone, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Just got it recently, so could use the support. I can't reach yeah, that far I'll over. Plug it. <laughs> there we go. My one and only plug. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I know I know we just said I'm we just, got I'm Dormammers. trying to make Emoticon proud. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't tend to plug myself, but you have a little more incentive to right now. Yeah, I don't normally plug myself. It's just like, I don't know. I, I like people following me on Twitter, but at the same time, eh. 